I can tell I'm only going to start liking this arc even more now that more of our main characters are just going to start grouping up and getting into these. Like, this is really the climax. This episode is called The Raging Bull Joins the Showdown. I am so ready. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 110. Like I said, this one's called The Raging Bull Joins the Showdown. Last episode, we had the brothers, the spatial mage brothers that had a little clash, a little head to head. <laughs> and Finral, I love this, uh, the symbolism, the imagery, you know, Finral going into like his little, his the sunken place, the dark, you know, where like they're actually, the human souls actually could be resting, you know. Meanwhile, the elf souls are kind of like taking over. So I really like that imagery. I really like Finral and Langris holding hands at the end, like the brothers they need. It ended with Yami and Jack hanging out right in front of Licht, Raya, Patri, Ghosh, and his sister, who they are actually elf siblings as well. So I'm very curious what's going on. Very excited. I say we just get right into it. Don't forget, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description, like always. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment on this YouTube video, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 110. The Raging Bull joins the showdown. Let's do this. So these are, these are the two that they were just talking about. The, uh, that's what I assumed that they would reincarnate them. Why is Fauna's tits looking immaculate right now? But they look kind of fucking sweet. Yeah, Yami killed Veto. So that's why Veto doesn't look okay. That's why Veto doesn't look the, like the other Veto. Okay. Huh. Well, Sally was pretty handy with that shit. It makes sense. Interesting. Interesting. And she doesn't have Salamand anymore. Yes, someone very qualified. Uh, yeah, you guys are butt naked. That's what I was saying earlier. They seem quite huge. <laughs> Way to add in some levity right there. Damn, they are destroying the Clover Kingdom. Place is getting fucking wrecked. The Apostles of Sephira? Veto, Fauna, Ghosh, some of the captains, Licked, the Apostles of Van. I already forgot what it was. Yeah. That is a crazy view, I won't lie. By infusing gravito stones with magic, we will open the door to the underworld that was sealed under Clover Castle. What the flying fuck? It's just like Star Wars. How an ancient synth temple was under the Jedi Temple on Coruscant the whole time. Oh, shit's about to start getting real. The Shadow Palace. Only the Apostles of Sephira, 10 elves, received divine revelations. Damn, man, this is so crazy. That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> yes, Kirsch. Yes, because I am so beautiful. From a two. Yeah, he did kind of just tell him the plan and then skedaddle out of there. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Because you have elves currently flying at you right now. But Noelle in that Valkyrie armor, god damn, she looks good. Oh, Valtos is back. I was like, what is Raya doing for a second? I forgot Valtos is back. Valtos... 
Couldn't have been better timing. We got Rada, Sally, Valtos, and the Black Bulls squad. Hell yeah. It was such a dope moment they had to show it to us again after the commercial break. They're like, that's my fucking house. That's the base. What is the base doing here? <laughs> We're the Black Bulls. Ended up joining us for reasons. Yes, he is. Coming to save you, Gosh. Yup. <laughs> you thought this was over, Patry, huh? You thought this was over. Hey, Yami knows it's the boy Henry. Hell yeah. Right? He woke up and got knocked back out again. Yeah, give everyone the sensu beans, the charmy cooking. Oh my god, Noel looks so dope. I know, you look so dope. High mana detection, luck is ready. I love that they have that aspect. They can just use their magic to shoot out of the Black Bulls cannons. Vanessa's fate manipulation. I love these little title cards we're giving them. Like, this is my hero academia. What the fuck? I love that. Let's go, Henry. Knock their asses out. Yeah, we essentially have unlimited magic as long as we keep eating. Ash is just like, I'm hungry. <laughs> That's a compliment, though. That means that he respects how strong we are. We're worth slashing. He can he can recognize Rouge is crazy. The, the natural laws, right? That is true. She's the leader of the purple peacocks, right? Or the, the pink peacock, whatever they were. The coral peacocks. I had to remember what their name was. Yep, we got a specific time limit we have to hit. Yes, Dorothy Unsworth, the captain of the Coral Peacocks. Kirsch's captain as well. I wonder what he's going to think of this. Dream magic? Glamour world? He's doing a fucking Mangekyo Sharingan? Madara? She's literally putting you in an infinite Tsukiyomi. What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pegasus? Toon world? Oh, the mirror magic mixed with fucking Patry's light magic is so strong. S Storm of light swords of imperial conviction. Oh my god. Oh my god. The combo magics you can do with Grey now that she has that magical conversion is so handy. Shouts out to Grey. That was clutch. I'm not gonna lie. Ghost looks pretty badass. Or should I say Druid? Druid looks pretty badass as an elf. That's kind of, I won't lie. Yeah, he's absorbing all of that cotton poison magic. He's gonna absorb everyone else's too. Yeah, it's first time using a new like power up form. Oh, it's gonna take a lot out of you. Yeah, Yami, come help us out, my boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They're going to go handle the big dogs. You guys handle this. What is her magic? I magic reflect Iris. So does she like charm you once you look at her in her eyes? Like a paralyze, yeah. She paralyzes you and he uses the mirrors to reflect her eyes in front of everyone. So everyone got caught in that. That's actually really strong. Also blocks her magic. It's like fucking Zetsu. God damn it. I know, right? Hey, shouts out Gosha's sister. Shouts out Marie. Yeah, that sword can, like, take the status effect of that, right? Take that out? Is 
exactly what I wanted to see. Demon Destroyer Sword. Demon Dweller, Demon Slayer, Demon Destroyer. <laughs> he has had to deal with that a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh man, they end the, these end the ep these can't even speak English. They end these episodes so well, such perfect cliffhangers. Well, like I said, we're building up to a climax. Really enjoying the fact that some of our already previously con previous contenders that are fighting are being met up with our other contenders. That like we've had seven different fighting stories all around, but now they're all starting to converge, and I'm really enjoying it. I love. Asa and everyone seeing Noel at least for a second in that Valkyrie armor. I would need to see that again. I love it so much. Um, we got Yami and Jack going into the Shadow Palace to handle them. We got Dorothy Unsworth who took Vanessa, Rouge, uh, who else? Charmy, a couple other people with them into the Dream World. Like that's no wonder she's always sleepy. Like if I had access to Dream World, I'm staying in my Dream World. I'm not. I'm not waking up. You know, like that'd be dope. I could do whatever I want. I cannot wait to see that. I can see already in the preview that there's going to be some dream world in this next episode. Very excited for that. Very excited to find out what's going on with the Apostles of Sephira and opening the portal to the all that. That literally, that's a whole like, what the fuck? Super excited for that. Um, finally got the name of the sword that was Lix, but now Asta is using the Demon Destroyer. We have the Demon Slayer, Demon Dweller, Demon Destroyer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am very oh fucking fauna and veto are back again they're only about 15 years old because they didn't have enough time to re literally rebuilt their fucking bodies like this is invincible great show by the way if you haven't seen invincible go watch invincible um very curious very and they need one more magic stone and they're doing it they're all accomplished everything's done I'm assuming that's gonna happen I'm assuming we're gonna have to fight and meet the big bad Oh man, I'm so excited. There's so many episodes I just want to watch. I am going to hop into this next one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below, like always. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. If you don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, check out that Patreon. You can watch early access or full length four episodes early. Go, everything's in the description, like always. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.